saying you're all right. Enjoyed the film. Can I offer you a mince pie oh. to get you into the Christmas mood? Absolutely. You don't have to eat it, there's no I, obligation. 100% will be eating Oh, you will? Okay, yeah. Fab. This is nice. It's might need an extra minute to get all these crumbs off. Yeah. <laughs> Do I like about this? I like that it's called Your Christmas on Mine too. No puns, just a Oh, two. don't worry, there were puns. Oh, yeah? They were. Oh, Vetoed. good. <laughs> Not by us. No. But there were many puns, yeah. and they were good puns. I wanted the puns, but... We wanted the puns. Really? Apparently. They were punny. I miss a good old-fashioned... The audience aren't... Uh, yeah. Well, clearly. I miss a good old-fashioned just two. Yeah. yeah. Just the same title, two. Two. That's it. Okay. Yeah, we don't oh, get here we go. This, well, here we this go. Is, this, this is, is for me. For <laughs> um, so films generally get sequels when they do well and they resonate with audiences. So what do you think it is or was about that first film that just kind of struck a chord and tapped into something with, with audiences? I think it's just everyone loves a feel-good Christmas film. Um, I think it's there was a lot of familiar tropes which people can relate to. Mm -hmm. um, there's a bit of drama, there's some romance, mm -hmm. there were ups and downs. Um, it was filled with Christmas Enus. Christmas Enus. Um, and I feel like there's just something that a lot of the British public can relate to, like boys to the pub, girls have a pamper. There's like a running theme of James Bond in this one, who is like Britain, James Bond. And um, yeah. So when you were making the first, did you have any get any wind of a kind of sequel? Where well, what sort of stage did that kind of come into into conversation? We were, uh, we were joking about it during the first one. Mm -hmm. We were sort of throwing around ideas. We didn't realise Tom Barry, the writer, was actually writing all of these ideas down mm -hmm. and putting them into this film. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't think... Until the first one was, like, the hit it was, I don't mm -hmm. think... I, I, I didn't think we were going to do a second one. I hoped we would. In yeah. my New Year's resolution, I was like, your Christmas on my too. Um, so I manifested this for us, mm -hmm. but you did. I think there's just what can't you love about the first film and like I'm completely biased because we're in it, but even when I first read the script it was just so heartwarming and slightly different, there was a really nice twist and the miscommunication and just how it shows two young people trying to navigate their way through first love at Christmas with family, like we can all relate to meeting the in-laws and being like absolutely bricking it or, you know, that first fresh horn of love with someone. So I um, wasn't surprised that we got a second one. I was very pleased that we got a second one. I like that it was a New Year's resolution. One of mine was to be healthy this year and eat less calories. Sauce so, was so, his! Yeah. Mm. It was not working, though. <laughs> They're no. tiny. They it doesn't tiny. count. No. Um, so, I've got frozen food <laughs> in my mouth now for that. Um, was it really nice to have everyone in the same place at the same time? Because I guess at the first one, did it feel a little bit like you were shooting two separate movies? Yes. For me, it did, anyway. For the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we... We didn't really have any scenes together. We had no scenes together, and we just figured out that me and Asa have known each other for the exact same amount of time that James and Haley have known each other. Um, so with the first one, we really didn't have a lot of time to get to know each other, so we went out of our way to like hang out and whatever, to make our on-screen chemistry as plausible as possible. But this time, it was so nice to be able to mm -hmm. hang out and for me to hang out with my on-screen family, yeah. like Angela and Danny and the kids and Natalie, like, so fantastic as actors and as people. So it was so nice to be able to chill with them on set. Because I guess because you have to sort of manufacture a relationship and a kind of romance and be believable as a couple. Is that just easier when you're making a sequel, when you've kind of already spent some time with each other and you've... Because I always imagine as actors, you just meet for maybe the first time and go, right, you've been together for four years, and you're just like, OK, <laughs> I know that's your job. But I'm just... But, yeah, when, when you've got a kind of sequel and you kind of re-enter into a world, does that... that having that instant or that established connection, does it just make it that bit easier to... to I, think so. I think so. I think, yeah, as you said, you're, you've already established the kind of little quirks and mm -hmm. uh, specificities of that relationship. Mm -hmm. And you trust each other a lot by that point, so you can kind of take the relationship a bit further. Mm -hmm. And not just for us, but for all our family's relationships in, yeah. this, in this film. And you can kind of raise the stakes because you know where the kind of boundaries lie. Mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah. Do you have any kind of, because I, I like the kind of the, the kind of difference in the, the two different families have their own kind of traditions at kind of Christmas. And I just wonder if you guys have any sort of unique family traditions that you uphold every year in your, so, so for example, for mine, I remember me and my brother were like 10 or 11, we got a Breville toasty maker for Christmas. And it was the most exciting we've ever year. been on Christmas day. No, no, we just got one. Oh. <laughs> 
And then we had a cheese toasty that day and we were so excited. We were like, we're pulling it apart. We couldn't believe it. And now every Christmas we have a cheese toasty on Christmas morning. Aww. So like little things like, do you That's have anything? Great. Um, I might nick that. You should. It's a great thing to have because Christmas lunch is like three o'clock. Yeah. So sometimes you just needed something to... Line your stomach. Mm. Yeah. We... All that champagne. All that champagne. Yeah. Um, when my brother was very, very, very little, he would stand on the landing and shout, It's Christmas! Probably about 5, 6 a.m. And that is when we had to get up. Like, there was no messing around. Once he shouted, off we go, present time. So that was something that, when he was a little baby, we used to do quite a lot. Um, we play a lot of board games and we drink, and we eat a lot of food. <laughs> so we play a lot of board games, we eat a lot of food, a lot of food and we do drink. Um, and, but really, it's, the, it's when the games come out, that's when you know Christmas has begun. Mm. We get, um, there's always one regular winner. It's, we're a very, very competitive family. So no one gets off lightly. And it's not actually just board games. We often get quite physical games involved as well. So we've quite this, physical we've with the this, winner. We've got this version of Pictionary, which involves a little bit of wrestling and a little bit of racing as well. Oh, um, racing? Yes. Okay. I want to ask about the location, because it's amazing in this. Did you get to experience it offset? Because, I mean, it's got the kind of the, like, the landscapes, the pool, the amazing. Were you able to actually enjoy it, or is it quite hard when you're on set because of the nature of work and stuff? We enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. There was a point where, obviously, the bits we were filming in, they had cut off. So there were mornings where I would try and sneak down and try and push the sign, but obviously all, everything was turned off because they wanted us to film in that section. But no, that setting was insane. And also really added to the awe that Haley feels. Having, like, I've never been in a hotel like that, ever. So it was actually kind of nice to have that sort of like, I can't call it method acting, but that sort of like, wow, we are genuine, in this like yeah, yeah. genuine awestruck, like this pool, this yeah. like landscape. You wake up in the morning, you open your curtains, and it's just be like this mountain. No, and it. like the crispy air and like, we all looked fantastic afterwards because mm -hmm. the air and the water was just so fantastic. Did you mm. ski? Can you ski? I skied a bit. Yeah. I can ski, but they didn't want us skiing. In case broke his leg. In case I broke my leg, exactly. Sense. And then yeah. it's kind of, kind of screwed. Kind of screwed. Can't ski, won't ski. Thank you. There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I tend to go on holiday. I want to come back with a potential injury. Sunburn is the only injury I'd like in stomach after a holiday. We did get a bit of that because yeah. the you saw high up the sun bouncing off the snow, mm -hmm. there were moments where I'd go, like, take off that huge ski suit and my hands and my face <laughs> would just be ten shades browner than the rest of my body and it's insane. Well, on that note, the next film, they've kind of teed it up a little bit, I noticed in the <laughs> in one of the scenes. They, you said in the, in the second, in the first film, you had the writer was listening and taking notes. Did you all sort of say, right, we want to go somewhere hot for the next one. <laughs> yeah, get us to the Caribbean. <laughs> get oh. us somewhere hot. Go on. But is that uh, on the way, that film? Is it, are you, I mean, it uh, sounds like We don't it's... know. No. Uh, no one said yet, mm. but we've got our fingers crossed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would be lovely to revisit the characters and for a maybe third and final time, because everything, mm. all good things come in threes, yeah. like the Cornetto trilogy, one Lord of the round. Rings. Yeah. Who else is a trilogy? Those two are the top that I can think of. So no, it would be really nice to do a third one, so cool. prime video. Hope, yeah, hopefully see you back in a couple more years then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool, thanks very much, guys. Much Thank appreciated. You. Thank you. Well, I'm actually going to take and finish this now. Yeah. I thought it'd be funny to tweet you during it, and then I just had a mouthful and then you're of like, mints. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't think this through when we got mints, no. by exactly. <laughs> We've got to talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys.